A Bemidji man pleaded guilty to murder, kidnapping, and criminal sexual conduct during a hearing at the, Bel hearing at the Beltrami County Courthouse today. 33-year-old Jacob Kinn entered the plea after being charged with second-degree murder. Reporter Mel Meyer was at the courtroom as Kinn described what led to his arrest. We'd like to warn our viewers that some of the details may be disturbing. Nearly a year after the crimes occurred, Jacob Kinn finally confirmed the events that led to the death of a Bemidji woman he had been seeing. On June 21st, he text messaged his coworker Melissa Norby a plan to kidnap and sexually assault a five-year-old girl they both knew. He met Norby at her trailer home that night where they had sex. At one point, he put a belt around her neck and pulled up, causing her to go limp. He put a mattress over her body and took the child to his cabin in 10 strike. He then returned to the trailer with a gas can and set it on fire. Kin went back to his cabin and sexually assaulted the child on the morning of the 22nd. Kin then went to work, returning that evening to take the girl to a family camper in Effie. He testified in court that he had used tape to tie her up and shut the door on the outside of the camper so she wouldn't be able to run. Through interviews with the girl's family and kin, law enforcement officials were able to find the missing child. Both attorneys for the defense and state agreed that there were four aggravating factors in the murder, including committing the crime in the presence of a child, concealing and mutilating the body, and inflicting indirect harm on Norby's family. As part of a plea agreement, the state recommended that Kin spend a total of 52 years in prison. In Bemidji, I'm Mel Meyer, Lakeland News. A judge will likely confirm the recommendation at Kin's sentencing hearing on June 26th. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.